alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the Royal London Theater here in London, England, for tonight's main event. Ten rounds of heavyweights. This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters say they are primed, coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. fight like this that everybody's been talking about. It's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. A good block. Well timed by bad intentions. And the ref's not going to tolerate the headbutt there. He hands out the warning. Blocks that punch. One to give one, he comes back with a the referee gives him a warning for headbutting. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Bad intentions, his knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend, one of them is to block. He did it there well. Good right hand. Blocks that punch. Good combination on the one-two by bad intentions. Overhand right can be so effective. Come on, get focus. Bad intentions on. is going to get a point, point deduction here for that here. clash of heads. One the referee head now ball. feels that it's purposeful what he's doing, and he's deducting the point. <laughs> Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Listen, everybody likes to see a great knockout shot to the chin. But truth be told, at this stage of a fight, the foundation for winning comes by going downstairs. It's just like the old timers would say, Joe, you kill the body, the head will follow. Bad intention. He's got a bad cut now that's opened up on his cheeks. He got all into that one. That was a solid uppercut. Viking Warriors right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Bad intentions his effort in that last round really didn't do much for him. I just don't think he was busy enough. No, he wasn't busy enough. And you start to wonder whether or not he wants to be here. It has to change quickly now because if it doesn't, his opponent is going to kind of smell it a little bit. And he's going to start pushing a little bit more and put him in bad problems. Really wanted that uppercut but just couldn't get it. Bad Intentions is the target of a hook. Jab and a straight by Bad Intentions. Use the rich, you come on, kid. Bad Intentions is getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Viking Warriors putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. And there he is, scoring with the right hand. Bad Intentions is covered with his blood right now. That cut just opened up something fierce. And you know, you wonder about the psychological damage or potential damage of that. You know, does that affect him where he gets a little down? Does that affect his opponent where maybe his opponent gets a little reckless? That is a sharp uppercut by Viking Warrior. A crushing two-punch combo by Bad Intentions. Up top with the right hand. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Don't walk into his punches. Viking Warriors at his best when the combinations are landing. He scored well there with that combo. And the round comes to an end. Bad Intentions is defense is going to need to shine when he gets back out there. I mean, just look at the close-up of that cut we're seeing. Yeah, he's got to use his legs. You're right, Joe. He's got to get out there and buy some time for those medicines to work. Viking Warriors impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Punches and bunches.
punches. It worked out well there with that combo. Yeah, you know, the early punches set up the late punches. Bad Intentions is now in a spot that many fighters have faced numerous times, and that is... Wow! He is level! How could he possibly get up from that? He's not going to! This fight's over! It's over! Exciting stuff here in a fight that looked like each guy was neutralizing the other. One single punch.